I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining once again on my channel on Data Engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist and we're going to take a look at AutoExec. Now, lots of you guys have asked me, how can I make stuff happen when I open my Microsoft Access database or when my user opens it? How can I make stuff happen? And one of the answers to that is AutoExec. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can make stuff happen when your database opens. Uh, one of them is to have a form open, which is part of your startup options, which I will also show today. Uh, but the other one is the auto exec macro, and that's sort of the path to having all of the macro actions available to you. So you can make all kinds of things happen, like maximize windows and do all kinds of things like that. But you can also uh, run code and I'm going to demonstrate how to run code from your auto exec macro as well. Let's get to it. Want to make your Windows computer or server available by remote desktop on the internet but stop those pesky RDP spammers from trying to break into your computer? Make sure to check out my RDP cloaker. The link is in the description. Okay guys, pretty fun one today. I have created a new Microsoft Access file it is in this folder here and uh, you will be able to get this from my downloads page uh, if you want to check that out. I'm going to create a blank form just before we get started here. Um, this is just going to be for demonstration purposes so you can throw anything you like on your form if you're following along. And all I'm going to do is grab a text box here. I'll grab that from form design and we'll go to controls and I'll just grab a text box. And that should be enough uh, for us to do a little demonstration on what we can do when we want to open our database and have stuff happen automatically. And so this is a text box. I've put a date tag on there and I think that's good enough for us for now. Let's click save on that and I'll just call this uh, my super form here. I'll use my LNC notation there and I'll use FRM super form. And this is just a simple little form. It is unbound and has no data attached to it. Um, and we're going to use this as part of our auto exec macro and we're going to demonstrate how that works not just from the auto exec macro with the form but also on the startup options with the form uh, because auto exec and the startup options are both sort of intertwined make sure you check out my previous episode on startup options that one will be useful to you as well uh, we'll only be covering a small part of startup options today um, but what we can do is we go to the create ribbon and we're going to select macro and you can see macro has all of all of these amazing commands that are available uh, to you if you want to create a macro and it's just like any other macro that you might create uh, you can check out my episode on macros on getting started with macros uh, but what a macro does is it basically runs a series of commands and you can choose those commands using a point and click and you know no code required kind of um, situation and so what we'll do today is uh, I chose the message box command for my macro and you can see that this is uh, I'm gonna say this message is opened in the auto exec macro and I'm gonna set my type to information and I'll put a little title in, on my message box I'll just call it you know automatic and that that should do for now and what we can do is we can click our save up at the top here and we'll give our macro a name. Now the name is super important. The auto exec name is reserved in Microsoft Access and so any macro that is called auto exec will be triggered when the database opens. Now users can bypass the startup options in the macro if they hold the shift key down um, uh, unless, of course, you disabled the bypass key for that, and I have a, an episode for that as well. Uh, so make sure to check that out. So here we go. I've got, uh, I've created our macro, and we've saved it. And I'm going to create a shortcut here. I created a shortcut to the database so that I can double-click it from the desktop. 
And when I double click it, there you go. There's our message that was fired off due to us having an auto exec macro in our database. And you can see there is our auto exec macro. If I go back to design view, you can see we created this with no coding or anything. Uh, macros are actually very powerful um, and you can do a lot of things with your macros. Now I'm looking for a command here and I cannot find it. Um, so I'm going to go into the show all actions uh, in our macro design there and now I can see set value. Okay, so there is a set value um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a value on our form when the auto exec macro runs and that's what we're going to do there. Um, that's the form that will open and we're going to open that with startup options which occur before the auto exec macro runs. Okay, so let's go and add some design to our form here, our control. It's called text zero, which isn't really a nice name for that. So let's uh, call that txt date um, and we'll give that a date format just for fun here. Um, this is going to make it a little, little nicer for when we have to actually set uh, the value. So let's save that, make our form a little bit nicer. Um, and that's the txt date. Now we're going to use that in our macro and we're going to use that in our code. So, um, so pay attention to our expressions here. Okay, so our first um, action was the message box and now we're doing a set value action and we're going to set the value of an item and the item is an expression pointing to our date text box on our form. And we're going to set that to the expression now, which is actually a built-in function, a built-in function. And so we'll save that. And now we've got a couple of things happening there. And like I said, we, we are going to demonstrate having the form open because you can open the form with startup options or the auto exec. So I'm going to show the startup options first. Now, in order to get to your startup options, you will need to go down to your options on the startup menu there and you'll see this form pop up and it has uh, information about um, the general and current database. I'm using quite a small window here for recording for those of you watching on your phones uh, but you can see if we choose the current database uh, you can uh, add a title and all kinds of things. I cover this more in more detail in my startup options uh, video, make sure you check that out. Uh, but you can also choose the display form, and that will open that form uh, before uh, anything else happens in the database. And so, note that that actually happens before the auto exec macro is fired. So, now if I close my database and I reopen it, you can see that the message opened in the auto exec macro. So that's the first step or the first action. And then the second action was to set the value equal to now of this text box here. And if I click inside of it, you can see that the, uh, the actual time and everything is recorded there. And that's what we wanna see. And that is your startup options working in coordination with your auto exec macro. So those are two things that are very handy tools for you. Uh, but if you did not want to uh, use the startup option, you could also uh, open your form and see that if I start a new action here, I can start typing open form. And open form is also a macro action that is available to us. You have lots of options there. Uh, you could open a form in your startup options and then open a different form in the background using your auto exec. Um, there's all kinds of ways that you could do things there. And so I'm going to choose that open form and I'm going to open our super form and we're going to open that in form view with uh, normal, everything normal there. Let's just save that. And now we've got a command uh, in, our, uh, in our macro. And now we need to do a couple of things. So the first thing is we're going to go back to our options again. Um, and I'll show this form here. We're going to go back to database and we'll clear that. And that's the first thing we need to do if we want to switch to the auto exec launch of the form. And the second thing that we need to do is 
we need to reorder our macro and we can do that by going into our macro here and it's very straightforward you can see if we hover over our open form action or the set value action any of the actions and we click the green arrow to go up it will move that action in front of the one before it and you can move them up and down and reorder the actions however you like we'll click close and save and now let's reopen our our uh, database and so here we go we've got the message came up and now the form came up and you'll notice that they are in slightly different order from when we had it in the startup options and that is exactly what we want to see there and we can move on so the second part of this is you know how can we run some code and so we're going to go to the create ribbon we're going to click on the module now note do not click on the class module you're just clicking on the one that says module um, and this is going to allow us to have some code uh, that we can execute uh, from our auto exec macro so here we're going to pretend that you have your own code that you want to run on startup you might have some big function or whatever and the big takeaway here is note that I'm using a function and not a sub or subroutine and that is because you cannot call the subs directly from your macro so you have to use a function uh, you can use a function like a sub or subroutine uh, a subroutine or a sub is really just a function that doesn't return any value. We'll return a simple value here, uh, but it will be discarded. And really what we're looking for is the actions in the code that do things uh, during the execution of the function. So in this case, it's a message box I'm creating here. I'm doing uh, the date on the form is, and I'm going to grab the date from the form and we'll use a similar type of message box to the one we created in our macro. And just for good measure, since it is a function, I will return a value, um, and I'll just say uh, the date on the form uh, is equal to the, the value in the uh, txt date text box on our form. So I'll just copy that uh, from here and so our function is going to do some stuff. It's going to have a message box and it's also going to return a value. Uh, in our case here, the value will be discarded, um, but uh, functions are functions and you should return something generally. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we'll call this one our mod our code using our LNC notation uh, for that one. And so now we've got a code Base here you can imagine a great big code base and you want to include um, a function call during the auto exec startup process of your database and here we go so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another um, we're going to add another uh, command here another action and it's called run code and see there that it's called uh, function name it's not called sub name and so don't be confused by that. Make sure you create a function. And even if you have no arguments on your function, uh, you do need to include the, the uh, brackets on the end there. And we're going to save that. Um, so now we have a function call at the end of our auto exec macro as well. And so let's close our database and we can restart it. Um, and we'll see what happens here. There we go. So there's the command or the action inside of the auto exec the the message box and then the date on the form is equal to um, what's on the form and that message box is called and it is executing in our code and so that's what we want to see we can click OK and then you know users continue on and do whatever they do in the database and so that is our our code which we called in our macro using run code and it executed that message box command there and this uh, value that's returned was discarded uh, but that is how you can do a function call from your macro to some function that you have in your code base in your application and there you have it that's how you can use the auto exec macro in your database we can restart it again I encourage you to go ahead and 
explore all of the available actions. And that's how you can make stuff happen when your database opens in Microsoft Access. Need easy time entry for your staff out in the field? Make sure to check out my Bills on system. The link is in the description.